Hello, today I will do tutorial about integration WordPress and Laravel with Corsell. So the idea is if we have a WordPress and there are WordPress user there and we want to create a new Laravel application and need to integrate uh, for example the users so we don't need to create a new Laravel users we can just use a user from WordPress to log in to register using web authentications or API ad authentications with Corsell so right now we have a fresh installations of WordPress this is still empty and if we go to the dashboard we have only one user here which is the admin now because this is all we have now we would like to create a new Laravel applications so let's open command prompt I will uh, save my Laravel applications in SAM at Stidocs. So uh, let's create a new one. For example, the name is Cordell Rafael. After finish, uh, we open the Laravel application we just create. I use Visual Studio Code. And open the folder. Now, uh, first we want to install the bootstrap authentications in the Laravel project. So we open the terminal and type composer require laravel slash ui and then we install the bootstrap authentications with PHP artisan UI bootstrap dash dash out and here you can see that we should uh, do npm install and npm run dev next we run npm run dev to build the ui do the command once more and wait for it building okay finish uh, usually the step after this is to migrate the user db in our laravel project uh, but 
we are not doing that now because we are using the database from WordPress with Corsel. So let's install the Corsel dependencies using Composer require ju rossi slash Corsel. After finish install, we need to publish so the command are php artisan vendor publish test test provider corsel backslash laravel backslash corsel service provider and the next step is we change the database connections let's go to config and see for the database okay this is the database default and we need to create one for the wordpress database uh, the wordpress will use the mysql so we just copy this one and change it to wordpress so after we copy we will remove uh, things that we do not need such as database URL driver we use MySQL and then the host and then the port also we will need use this one the database name is depend on your WordPress for me it's uh, let's check in the php my admin i use this one for the database of my wordpress so it will be coda wp and for the username is root in my database the password is mc i don't need to use this one just delete and the prefix we use in the WordPress database is wp underscore just do it this one change to false and delete the option ok now we set uh, the database for WordPress already after we create a WordPress database in database PHP config we change in the corsel.php so the connection will be WordPress and then save now let's look to the model that we are using with this user the user is created by uh, bootstrap 
UI earlier now we want to import the Corsell model here so we are gonna use use Corsell model user as Corsell and now we're gonna extend this model For now, let's try to create a new WordPress. We would like to add new user. For example, John Do. And then first name is John. Last name is Do. Uncheck the user notifications. And let's save the password first. This is for John Do. And generate a new one now it's, cre it's created now let's test if the user can log in to the wordpress first so it will be join to at gmail.com and the password is this one Like it can log in. One last step is to change the config in authentications so the user can do logins in provider. We will use Corsell and use this one's app models user because we already extend this class with using Corsell. So we need to change the driver using Corsell And let's run the Laravel applications And open Let's try to login With the user we created earlier this is Jandu and with the password and login now we can already log in to the Laravel applications with WordPress user so it can be further enhanced to another requirement but for now, the thing we do here is connecting the WordPress user to log in into Laravel applications. So that's all for today. Thank you.